Uh, good morning. It's about 8 a.m. And I'm moving out of my parents' house today. Okay. Good morning. All right, so I just pulled up to work super late, so I gotta like basically, not super late, but wait. So I'm just gonna kind of power through this. Um, so I woke up this morning and uh, Damari decided that since he couldn't get his shift covered at his jobs Monday morning, cause it's like a new job and they scheduled him. Um, yeah, he's trying to move in Sunday. Which basically means that we gotta figure out a whole bunch of stuff before then. I'm a little stressed, which is also why I'm late to work. Um, it's been a roller coaster. Shout out Richmond. Good morning, it is Friday morning. Um, yesterday we, I, I got a call from Damari while I was at work and we can't move in until Monday, which is, I feel bad cause like he's upset about it, but like I'm excited cause I'm a lot less stressed. Very exciting. <laughs> Okay, I'm literally so sorry for that horrible intro. And we're also gonna ignore the ginormous sun behind me, okay? At my parents' house today, I teach, I have to teach my morning yoga class at Healthy Life from 10 to 11.15. Sorry, I need this so bad. And then around 11.30, Damari will hopefully be on his way here with the moving truck with all of his stuff in it. And we'll throw all my junk in it. Emotionally, I feel excited. Last night I got a little sad, which was weird. It's like we like signed the lease like two months ago. So I knew this was coming and I was like eagerly waiting for it to come and like happen, but. Yeah, last night I, I, I teared up a little bit, homie. Like, I was like, I'm a woman now. Like All right, so I'm gonna drink coffee and like wake up. So I just came outside to drink my coffee and it looks really angry outside. I'm gonna check the weather because I'm incredibly nervous. Is my phone even on me? Tis. All right, yeah, man, no rain today. Like zero to like the most 3%. Nice. It's just gonna be nice and cool and shaded when we move. <laughs> I just got out of class. Um, my boyfriend texted me. I just tried to call him and he did not answer. But Damari says we're gonna have to make two trips, which is kind of lame, but I mean, you know, it's not the worst thing to happen. But look at this. One of my students, oh, apparently it's Teacher Appreciation Month, and she got me a card and some lemon pound cake. Which, like, little did she know that I was obsessed with pound cake when I was a kid. Like, obsessed. So, that was so sweet. It was, like, a, that's such a great start to, like, all of this. Yoga and some lemon pound cake and some appreciation. I just, mm, I'm loving it. All right, let's head home and see what sort of chaos I'm gonna stumble upon. It's gonna be great. Okay. So I called Damari or he called me back and we decided that since his the truck is already full, I was gonna come here, I'm at the apartment complex and get our paperwork kind of rolling and then he'll meet me here and we'll unload his stuff and then drive back to my house, which is luckily only like 10 or 15 minutes from here, load all my stuff and then come back. So hopefully it's just like a two trip thing. Oh my God, update. After an hour and a half of freaking paperwork, we got all of our stuff. I can't even talk, I'm so tired. It's all of babe stuff. Oh my gosh. His studio junk for the music man. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God, I'm so tired. We got our bed and bed frames and Oh, shoot, it looks like they got, they're getting the desk. Or the draws. Kendra's dying. Oh my gosh. 
Gosh. All right, I should go help. All my love. Got what? A wee. I know we got, we have a wee. I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do with it. <sighs> uh. Oh God. Uh. Okay, so I'm on my way to my house. Damari and Ryan are filling up the U-Haul with more gas. In the meantime, my brother and I are gonna start bringing all my boxes from inside to outside. We, are, we, we already said fuck it to one couch, like I, we might say fuck it to the other couch and just buy futons, because this is a lot. This is tiring. Like, like my arm's starting to shake from holding the camera, and I'm also driving, so I'm gonna focus. Um, I'll check back in once I get to my house. We're done. Sorry I didn't record the stuff in my house, but it started to get really hot. The overcast went away and it was like just straight sun. And we were just trying just like to get everything out. So we did it. Damari and Ryan are going to drop the moving truck back off in Richmond and Damari is going to get his car. So I'm here alone. It's really cool. So I didn't want to record myself doing this because I, I was scared I was going to fail miserably. Um, Demire's still not back yet. I just put the legs on our kitchen table. Look at how adorable. Look at how adorable! I did that, I'm so proud of myself. Okay, so it's been about an hour. Damari's still not back. I've just been unpacking things like really, really slowly. Boop. And boop, this is where I keep all my crystals. I'm so happy I couldn't find the baskets for the past hour, but um, I'm gonna unpack them from their boxes. Ding. I just need Damari to come back because we haven't eaten at all today and we're both starving. He's taking forever, so I have to wait on that. I'm very depressed. I think that's also why I'm so exhausted right now because I'm literally running off of fumes, so. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> all right, so it is basically almost three weeks later. Um. <laughs> Moving is the worst. I don't even really remember, like I haven't watched any of the videos since move-in day, but thanks for sticking with me and getting to this point here. I'm supposed to be in class right now. This is something that I wanted to film with Damari, but it just, I asked him like the other day and I was thinking about asking him today, but I had the worst menstrual cramps ever. Um, to the point like I I couldn't go to my massage therapy um, training class tonight because I was hurting I just woke up from a nap and I just want to get content out there I catch up because I've missed posting videos and making videos so much so sorry Damari but we're gonna I'm, we're gonna have a little chit chat also really funny as to like where the camera is right now um don't really have like the YouTube lighting in here yet um, it's also obviously like 8.30 at night. But I like this like side to side thing. It's like, you know, it's like we're chit chatting. It's like, it's like I'm with the homie right now. It's like, I'm really, really talking. <laughs> okay, so I guess here, let me actually check like what the last video I have in here was. Okay, yeah, so last you saw me unpacking my rocks, which are happily, I'll show you. Right over there by our TV. Yeah, dude, it's been like, it's been like two and a half weeks since we moved in and Moving sucks. Like, moving is actually really, really bad. And after we got everything in the house, like, I was waiting for Damari for like three hours. This is Shaba. <laughs> I also got a dog in this process. <laughs> it's my boyfriend's dog, but we have, we basically share the responsibilities now. So that that's also exciting and new and wasn't anticipated on. But anyways, I was waiting for Damari for like three hours and eventually like, so like, I was like left to like do most of the unpacking, but at the same time, like there wasn't really much I can do. Um, I couldn't go to a massage therapy class that night. I was so, like moving is so exhausting. That was literally the least amount of fun I've ever had doing anything. 
And then for like a week after that, Damari and I could not stop bickering. We were both so tired while still keeping our normal work and like my class and our schedules where it was just like, it was, it was really stressful for a while there. Now that we're here, I, we are super like, we're finally settled in. Like it feels like home. Um, we haven't argued in like a week. Like we like, actually feel like very settled in. I feel super comfortable. Minus, you know, my uterus eating itself right now. Um, and happy like in my home and like how we set it up. We made, both made it a point to like make it homey. We stayed up till 4 a.m. on move-in day. We drank coffee at like 10.30 at night just to get everything the way we want it. I don't know, like comment below if you're like this. Are you one of those people where it's like, if you're at home or like your at home life is disheveled and a mess and not put together, your whole life is a mess. All you can think about is like what, what, what stuff is not where it's supposed to be and where it could go like back at the house and like you're just worthless until your house is clean like that's how me and Damari both function uh so yeah we were up till 4 a.m uh, what else oh yeah this is i thought this was really funny um so like another thing that like stood out to me in a way that was like I don't know, it's been me, I just thought it was funny and kind of like totally a subconscious thing. Mari and I, we were really stressed out about like getting the house how we wanted it and having all of our things like where we wanted them and like this, that, and the third. Um, the one room that like we didn't really touch or like stress about for like the first week and a half, two weeks was our bedrooms. And it's funny because like at my parents' house, um, I didn't really like have a, like anything else but my room. Like, my brother had, like, this massive room with, like, his his video gaming computer and, like, his big TV with an Xbox and he had, like, a couch in there. And while my room only had, like, a bed and, like, my books and I never had a TV in my room until Damari and I moved in together. And downstairs in our living room, like, my parents were always in there. So, like, I didn't really have space that was mine except for my bedroom. And it was small. And, like, it was all... Like, all like it wasn't very big which is like fine but that's just kind of how it was at Damari's last house he lived in for two years while he graduated from DCU um that <laughs> that house was a shithole um it was three boys living together and his two roommates were like to like two years back to back just terrible gross roommates so he in his bathroom like he had the biggest like master bedroom in the house so he was the only one with the, uh, the bathroom in his bedroom. Like he, we were kind of, whenever we would hang out at his house, which was all the time, <laughs> um, we'd be trapped in his room. So I thought it was really funny how like once we moved here, like we said like we like, didn't, like we, we didn't have that same anxiety as we would normally have over our bedrooms because we now had like a whole apartment like for ourselves. It's really cool. Like it's definitely not how we want it. Like I just realized now that I would like a place like that, that's my desk. That's where Jordan gets the business done. But um, there is a place, or like, I would like the couch of some sorts, getting like a light or something. Like I would like to be able to have like more of a setup for YouTube. Even though again, I'm, I'm digging this this one-on-one -on -one we're having now. Um, I'm just trying to think of stuff to say. I feel like that's pretty much it. <laughs> I thought this video, I thought this would be like a lot cooler of like moving out of my parents house for the first time experience video, but it's actually so difficult and so physically and emotionally draining that you you can't you can't vlog at the same time. Um, that being said though, although it was emotionally and physically exhausting and my period was like basically late because of it, um, very happy, very madly in love with my man and my new stepson. Oh, yeah, living the life. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to be going back to posting every Wednesday. I am not sure what I'm going to do next, but we're going to figure it out. Like, comment, subscribe. I love this. <laughs> and I also love digging people commenting on my videos. I like like having that conversation and hearing from, you know, the world. So keep doing that. <laughs> And have a fabulous weekend. Fabulous weekend. <laughs>